We all experience this on a regular basis. You receive a PDF form by email that needs to be completed, signed and returned. The usual way is to save the form on your computer, print it on paper, complete and sign it manually with a pen, scan it back into your computer and send it back as an email attachment. There is an easier way. Open the form where it was saved on your computer with Adobe Acrobat Reader. You can also just double click on it to open. Inside Adobe Acrobat Reader, scroll down the panel on the right until you can click on Fill and Sign and again on the blue button on the left. Note the filling options in the bar at the top. Select the text option, the AB icon on the left. Position your cursor where you want to enter text and start typing on your keyboard. This box requires a tick or a cross. Select from the options bar at the top and drag into position. Continue to complete the text fields. Now we need to initial and sign the form. Click on sign in the options bar at the top. The first time you use this method, you would need to add your signature and initials to Adobe Acrobat Reader. You can insert images, which are photos or scanned copies of your signature and initials that were saved to your computer. Only one signature and one set of initials can be applied. However, the initials holder could also be used for a second signature if that is your requirement. Position the initials or signature by dragging it and resize it as required. When done, save the document. Use the Save As option to select a different name. You can open the saved document and view it before submitting it. The signature that was used looks very small in relation to the initials and could not be resized. I saved another photo of the signature with bigger dimensions. We will now use this bigger signature by replacing the smaller one. Reopen the saved document and go to Fill and Sign as before. Scroll down to the signature's position. Go to the Options bar, click on Sign and then on the minus icon to remove the existing signature. Click on the plus icon to add the bigger signature as we did the first time. Now we can sign the document with a different signature. Finally, save the document, ready as an attachment for an email to be returned. This is what the final document looks like.